Welcome back. Once more, the fourth season of The Kardashians has premiered. As the season draws to an end, it was yet another perplexing one overall. As usual, the conflict between Courtney and Kim was ignored rather than ever truly resolved. Given that Chloe's trauma serves as the basis for the family's ongoing plot, there was far too much attention on Tristan Thompson. Also, Courtney is prepared to call Chris out on his shenanigans, which have taken on a little sinister tone. The most recent episode, which felt like a lot of unused material from the Kardashian season 4 that was missed, was billed as the season finale. Although Courtney's pregnancy was the main plot point, it was quite dull to follow because of her distant outlook on life. The Kardashian season 4 finale's five key lessons are as follows, shake it off and let's go. The genuine dynamic couple of the show, Chloe and Chris, embarked on a tour this week. They took a bus with Courtney and Travis Barker to San Diego to see Blink-182 live. Though their combined knowledge of Blink-182 songs was probably limited to one, they were eager to fully embrace their rock and roll fantasies. Swaying. On the way to the show, Chris commented, I'm going to vibe. Courtney was ready for Chris and Chloe to move on from her, but they were enjoying their life as rock stars. As usual, Courtney thought her family was being overbearing and demanding. Courtney remarked, This is why I don't invite you guys to stuff because it's not about you. Everything turns into an individual's desire to accomplish things and their complaints about everything. It is painful and entertaining to witness, as Courtney has truly given up attempting to hide her contempt for her family. Thank goodness, Scott Disick made a farewell appearance in the Kardashian season 4 as the family celebrated his 40th birthday without Courtney. Since Scott is the Lord after all, the theme was regal, and everyone knew it except Kylie. Scott gave her a pass, reminding us that he'd known Kylie since she was the same age as his son Rain. This family has been on television for far too long. Even Scott thought back to his time spent watching the family film the first episode of season 1, their main series. Scott chuckled, I thought this show was going nowhere. Chloe, who is keen to be over her 30s, was unable to contain her jealousy that Scott turned 40 before her. Chloe remarked, I don't understand why he's not as excited. Leave them alone, I don't think his 30s have been fascinating either. She makes a valid point there. Let's hope that Scott and Chloe experience a more mature period in the upcoming 10 years of their lives. At Heavy Breakdowns, our goal is to make spoilers and behind-the-scenes activities for everyone. We only highlight goods that we know you'll adore just as much as we do. See you eventually on another engrossing review. I hope the video is enjoyable. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.